if we look at the life of Sayyidina Rasulullah the first knowledge Sayyidina Rasulullah has guided people to was what was the means of conveying Tawheed monotheism to people was memorizing Al Quran together. That the Ahl Sufa would congregate and they would sit and memorize Al Quran together to the extent that Sayyidina Al Baghi Ka'ab and Sayyidina Abu Dhabdah. When Sayyidina Abu Dhabdah had went to Damascus in the Grand Maid Masjid, a Jami Umuri, the fourth most important masjid in Islam. The Jami Umuri, the fourth most important masjid in Islam. Sayyidina Abu Dhabdah would taught ten people Al Quran al Then from each person, he made each person sit in the Jami Umuri and have a circle of ten other recites who memorized Al Quran al then Sayyidina uh, Abu Dhabdah would do Ishraf, overlook all the hundred people recite the Quran al Kareem, memorize the Quran al Kareem. Then, when they would, what we call Mutakhadiji graduates, when they would graduate, they would send them across the massage of Damascus, and this is how the Quran proliferated in Damascus and Syria. Syria is such a country that the Messenger of Allah said that the column of the Quran. Mutu Quran was taken from under my pillow and I followed the Mutu Quran that it took the pillow of Quran and they placed it in Bilal Shah in Greater Syria. So this is how the Quran proliferated. Again, people retire and they take some time out for Quran, but we know when this, they do this tradition known as Khatmul Quran. Khat what has Khatmul become? That you, you call everyone, you call all your relatives, they all attend the Khatmul. And what happens is food is laid out, and then the, uh, uh, a supplication is made, and then everyone consumes the food that they got home. How many of them actually recite the Quran to get in Khatmul Quran? What was the original essence of Khatmul Quran? The original essence was a pious man would sit at the home and he would read his gift, following the companions of Ali Muhammad Quran that he would recite five juice every day of the Qur'an because the companions of Ali Muhammad Quran how would they recite the Qur'an? one of them would recite from Surah Al-Fatiha to Surah uh, to the end of Surah al Imran. then he would add five additional chapters then five additional chapters and like this towards the end of the, the week seven days he would have finished the Qur'an we can divide that according to five ajzah in six days he finished the Qur'an so every Thursday they would finish the Quran and what did we know when a person finishes Quran they make a supplication and their supplication is answered so they would invite people and make a supplication this is the origin of the Quran now it has become a custom with no essence so what people need to do is go back to the essence of the Quran which is actually sitting down and reciting the Quran because I am surprised that so many people sit down in the Ajza of the Quran and they recite so quickly that they are able to recite so quickly but when you check their recitation they are unable to recite some of them think, uh, stay quiet in the prayer and thinking how the prayer is sufficient for the prayer to be acceptable so some of them think by pointing and looking at the Jews it's sufficient that we are reciting the Jews now the tradition of a Salaf of Salaf was such that when they in a Medina to Munawar when they when Maghrib time would come in, they stayed in all of them would open the Quran al And throughout the city of al Madinah al Munawar, in the time of the companions, Ali al Ridwan, after the, the passing away of Sayyidina Rasulullah, they would hear the humming of the Quran al from the houses. And they would turn this as Sahab al Quran, the hour of the Quran. So if anyone had an appointment, a young man, the other friend of his, he would say, I will meet you after the prayer at the time of the Quran, at the hour of the Quran. So that would mean after the the tradition was such that people could open up their Qurans in their homes and the Quran would be heard, uh, uh, being recited, and the hum of the Quran would be heard throughout the streets of Al Madin and the Quran. This, going back to Al Quran, is one of the essence 
of the worship of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Sayyidina Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu anhu states when describing the, the hajjud, the, the early dawn, pre-dawn prayer of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he states that Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited the entire Surah Al-Baqarah and Surah Al-Ali Imran in two cycles of the prayer. So, with the presentation of the Quran, we can minimum that everyone should have memorized these 15 short chapters of the Juz Amma. Every Muslim should at least know 15, the last 15 chapters of Juz Amma. What is the purpose of uh, us attending Islamic gatherings only to meet friends and only to go out for a meal after the gathering or to sit down and converse about things which do not concern us? So many people discuss so, uh, so many things which do not concern them. They probably discuss me and Shaykh Yasin not knowing that we know each other. There are, there are so many things that do not lie and Islam. If they spend that time in memorizing the Quran, we can eat half of the Jews or the entire Jews Allah, or Surah Al Baqarah, we know. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu and Sayyidina Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhu It took them over 10 years to, to memorize Surah Al-Baqarah Why? Because they were carrying out the orders of Surah Al-Baqarah Applying and learning the means of each verse One tip given by some of the scholars is to recite 10 verses and memorize 10 verses at a time Learn their meaning, memorize them Learn their meaning, learn what the, the, the basic tafsir commentary from Sunni books and Sunni ulama and then move on to the next 10 uh, verses of Quran. Like this, if a person makes a routine, once a week they are memorizing a Quran we can read, or once a month 10 verses of a Quran we can read, and moving on uh, like this throughout the entire Quran, maybe we take them 20 years to memorize the Quran, but at least they are not wasting their lives, at least they are not wasting their time. Another tip for memorizing a Quran we can read, is narrated in the hadith that anyone who recites 10 verses of Surah Al-Baqarah every night, which verses? The first three verses, which are Alif Dami, Dalik Abita, Uda Waibafi, Udalil Muttaqi, three verses. Then Ayatul Kursi, Allahu La ilaha illa wa al-Hayyu al-Qayyum. Then the three verses that come after Ayatul Kursi. And then the last three verses of Surah Al-Baqarah, making Avenue. 10 verses of Al-Qur'an Kari. Every night if someone recites this, he will never forget Al-Qur'an Kari. So for Fathal Al-Qur'an, people who have memorized Al-Qur'an Kari, they recite these 10 verses every night, they will never forget Al-Qur'an Kari. There are so many benefits of Al-Qur'an Kari that we, for instance, if someone places their hand on the forehead and they recite, the verse لَوْ أَنْزَلْنَا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ عَلَى جَبَلٍ لَرَأَيْتَهُ خَاشِعًا مُتَصَدِّعًا مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ وَتِلْكَ الْأَنْفَالُ نَضْرِبُهَا لِلنَّاسِ لَعَنَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّعُونَ In Surah Al-Kashaf In the one of the benefits of reciting this and placing the hand on the forehead that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kills them of any disease except that This is one verse of the Quran that Shaykh Ahmed Habbal, Rahmanullah Whenever this verse we recite he would place the hand on top of the forehead. For a moment, I wondered why did the Sheikh do this. Later, I found the narration in the Tarih of Al Imam al Khatib al Baghdadi, Rahimahullah, in this chain of narration, uh, mentioning that whenever this verse was recited, Sayyidina Rasulullah uh, would place his blessed hand on his blessed forehead. This is Musadsa, a Musadsa hadith, but there is also another narration mentioning that this particular verse is a cure for all illnesses except that. So Al-Qur'an Al-Karim, going back to Al-Qur'an Al-Karim, why? Because reciting Al-Qur'an Al-Karim by heart is one of the means of helping our Qiyam al-Layl al-Tahajjud. Our Qiyam al-Layl al-Tahajjud, that when we perform two cycles, we can recite the verse of Al-Qur'an and ponder all the meanings of Al-Qur'an Al-Karim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described those believers These people who think about the heavens and the earth are described as those people who possess intelligence. What is this intelligence attained from? 
from Al Quran Kareem. In fact, Al Quran Kareem, anyone who memorizes Al Quran Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save them from becoming senile in their old age. That when they become old, they will not become senile. Their body may go weak, but their mind will stay alert. 